What the hell is this? Yes. Okay. Hell, this is extremely loud. Only the bravest and most resourceful make it this far. Dear Gunjania. Let's click. Be proud to count yourself among them. However, it seems that fate is not on your side. Shot by shot, each who fired the gun weakened the magic that held these walls together. Given your likely future, your past need no longer concern you. To survive, you must, you must make a daring escape. What I'm trying to say is, you must. Exit the Gungeon! You don't have to go back the way you came. I'll aid you as best I know how by blessing your weapon as you make your way up. No! No! I don't want a blessing, not from you! Before you attempt to escape, you should speak to Sir Manuel. He claims to have mastered the ways of the Gungeon Evils and will certainly help you if you ask him to do so. He's right over there! Clink. All right. We go down. We go down. We go down to the freaking basement. Space. Hold on. What? Okay. So space is jump. You have a set height on your jump. No, no, no. You can tap it for a little bit of a low jump. You have a dodge roll. God. <laughs> Your dodge roll completely cancels out any sort of horizontal or, sorry, vertical momentum. I wonder if there will be BCDD20T in Gungeon, or just turbo mode. It looks like there's a lot of stuff here, though. How do I get up? How do I get back up? Oh, no. Wait, you can... Oh, no, there's a, there's a hidden, hidden walkway right there. I almost freaking got stuck. I would have been very sad about that. The walls have guns. Lovely. It's the hunter. They have a little doggo, the marine. The convict, and then this guy. It's uh, Mr. Lizard Man. All right. Yo, it's a great game. Also, hello everyone for being here. We're gonna be playing some Eggs of the Gungeon, but first, I really already hate that this looks like a really bad fan game LMAO. I mean, a lot of it is the same. I mean, you have the same sprites for for the characters for the most part. Slightly altered, but I, you know, you can definitely see that it is the same artists who made the game. I do not like the animation. Well, maybe we will enjoy the gameplay. But let's go check out Sir Manuel. Hello, Sir Manuel. Oh, hello again. Shouldn't you be gone? This place is unstable, you know. See? Unstable. She sent you over here, didn't she? Sigh. You need a refresher on how to master the gungeon? From I? Sir Manuel? I will... Oh, yeah, that's what... That is a wide... Smile, oh my lord. I need a I need a realistic picture of a smile this wide, Joker-esque. With filled with teeth. Let's do the refresher. Oh boy. Here we go. Let's do this thing. Let's adjourn to the halls of knowledge. We've gotta do the halls of knowledge. Because it's probably gonna be secret in the halls of knowledge. Okay. I hate the uh the switch loading symbol for the game? I don't know. Approach me and press E to speak. Very good. Excellent interacting. Welcome to the halls of knowledge. Here don't here don the hat of the people. I've got a hat on. Lights! Camera's action? Due to the carelessness of regretful souls wantingly firing a weapon that rips through time and space, the gungeon is crumbling. To reach the exit in time, you must ascend via the Tinker's network of makeshift shafts. Elevators, rather. I've instructed my assistant to set dress the halls of knowledge to approximate what your environment will be as you race to the top. The first and most important thing to master is the dodge roll. Observe my assistant. 
Is that the is that the the cultist? Balloon boy looking ass. That's what I thought too. Press the right mouse button while moving left or right. My hat moves. That's enough. He says that's enough. Ready to move on? Let me try one more time. Because your dodge rolling skills are so excellent, there's one other thing I would like you to try. Legends tell of an ancient Gungeoneer who ascended when he dodge rolled. It is referred to as the ascending dodge roll. The scriptures say that to perform this fable technique, you must exit the dungeon. Press the space button. Okay. Immense discovery. Please do it again. So if you space, you uh, you dodge roll directly up. But you can also right click while you jump in order to have like a double dodge roll, I think. <laughs> Dear Caliber, the height! You've mounted that precipice! But how will you get down? Probably, you know, standard gaming thing, down and jump. That thing you did there, it was some kind of descending dodge roll? Okay. So space and right mouse button are your dodge rolls, but you can kind of combo them a little bit. Like, can you... Okay, you can't jump out of a dodge roll, except you actually can a little bit. But you can definitely dodge roll in your jump at any point. Okay. What did he want me to do? Excellent. Welcome back. Now that you are well versed in all three types of dodge rolls, we can put them to use. When you dodge roll, you are invulnerable by you until you hit the ground. Ah! Until you hit the ground. So if you if you do a, a big jump, you are invulnerable for the entire length of the jump. Okay. <clears throat> So apparently, the Black Falcon asked the question, it does count as a dodge roll because it says you're invulnerable until you hit the ground. So there you go. This means you can dodge roll through bullets and the gungeon bullets will be everywhere. Time your dodge roll. Okay. It can be counterintuitive. It's a battle-tested technique. Watcha. So that's a, just a roll. We can jump through it, though, if we want to. Like, watcha. There you go. We can probably fall through it. There you go. And then we can probably do a... Uh, what is the background moving? It's, it's like the, they're emulating the wall monger with eyes coming up over the walls. <laughs> Expert. Amazing. Breathtaking. The bullets will come from above. Use an ascending dodge roll. How about if I, um, instead of doing that... Oh! I just did a side roll. Now they're gonna come from the ground. Right, 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 right. Come on. There we go. One day, these bullets will fire. We... we... Perfect! <laughs> Excellent job. You wanna try it again? No, I'm good. Let's move on. Give me another shot, coach. A lot of bullets. Bullets like uh, like life come so fast, uh, overwhelmed, an obvious way to dodge roll to avoid damage. Blank. They look like this. The blank button. When you use a blank, all bullets on the screen will be sent to another plane of existence. What if you go to that plane of existence? And what if on that plane of existence you have to fight the bullets that you've extinguished? Who knows? Some commonly handled items like blanks are sticky and will attach to you when you step on them. Oh, pick up. Interacted with the pick em up. Remember that. I'm gonna fire the bullets again. Use a blank. Use a blank. Press my mouse button four. Ready, here they come. Your dodge rolling skills are very impressive, but you are supposed to use a blank. Right. Sorry. I, I didn't know where they were coming from. <laughs> You did it! Remember your blinks are one time use, don't rely on them. Although when I got hit, I used a blank. Sanfu says, I find the constantly changing text color and size really obnoxious. They kind of did something similar to this in Enter the Gungeon to convey emotions with bouncing text and colorful text, but um, it is di just different in Exit the Gungeon, of course. Weapons trading, gun shoots. The best defense is to kill enemies, threat taking damage. And it's it's also nice for speed re reading, so you can just, you know, get the gist of what they're saying. Shoot gun. 
I remembered your favorite gun. Open the chest and take your weapon. The pea shooter. You motherfucker. Now you're armed and mildly dangerous. The game is also still a little loud. Drop the volume slightly. When you exit the gungeon, sorceress will bless your gun. Plus, weapon will change every few seconds. I hate that. Displaying prowess in combat will surely curry favor with Caliber, who may reward you with increased firepower. Ooh. The higher your combo, the more likely that your gun will take the form of something powerful. Likely, but not guaranteed. Bloodthirsty natural inhabitants of the gungeon. Their safety, true gun dead, will show you no mercy. As a volunteer, they understand the dangers involved. I assure you they are well protected. Use a mouse to aim your gun when I say fire upon it. Now, shoot it! Shoot it, not me, you twit! Shooting me is pointless. Shoot it! Uh, I want to shoot this guy. I'm wearing a powerful magnet that deflects your fire. I want to shoot that guy because, uh... Oh, hell yeah. Because I, uh... You know, want whatever the secret... There's a secret up there! Since you went all the way up there, can you grab that flying disc? That's not a flying disc, that's a shield of the maiden. It's a flying disc, actually. It's called Ruin, Su Ruin Summoner? Hey, what is this thing I picked up? No? Okay, he doesn't want to tell me what this thing is I picked up, but I picked up a thing. I picked up some sort of a flying disc. Alright. Let's go kill this guy. I got him. There is no, like, um... Oh god. I threw it up there a while back and I super just lost forever. It's actually my old friend, Blockner's... He sure turned red when I threw it up there. Maybe it will prove useful for you. Oh, thank you. You have the mind of a killer. Truly, you're without conscience. I, I did skip some dialogue because I was trying to press some buttons. Now, remember, don't even think about shooting me. You must now don the hat of the delinquent. I'm too lucky to be hit by your puny pea-shaped bullets. Stop shooting me. We're going to shoot him one of these days. Um, yeah, so I just... I want to keep shooting this guy for a minute. <laughs> uh, good. The inhabitants of the gungeon are far more dangerous than you saw from my assistant. Uh, I would be better to prepare you for the dangers ahead. It's time for your final lesson. We gotta shoot this guy? We might have to shoot this guy. You must now face me in single combat. Prepare yourself! Okay, I'm just gonna stand here, I guess. So while you're jumping, since it counts as a dodge roll, hold on, I'm gonna re reduce the music just slightly. So while um, your jumping counts as a dodge roll, you can't shoot during that. I also noticed that there is no ammunition counter or anything like that. Your gun just automatically reloads, which is kind of annoying because I would have uh, preferred to be able to reload manually, but oh well, you know. If this is a, uh, a mobile game port and there's just not enough buttons for you to be able to press. Ah, the student has become competent. You are untouchable. Here, don the hat of the initiate. I have nothing more to teach thee. Passing my test, test is a great achievement. And we got an achievement passing my test. That's it, we're done here. If you want to continue, use the machine. This machine to spawn real gun dead one at a time. I'll be back in the underbreach. Use the door to get back. Doodles. I mean, I kind of want to use the machine to kill some people. I know you. You're freaking meat cube. You're annoying. We also got money. You're a bullet shark, but you're a uh, a mini bullet shark, not a mega one. Okay. I wonder if you if you do this enough time if the door open. I wonder if you do this enough time if you'll uh, like get a, a secret minion or something. But you know what? We're just gonna go play some gungeon. We got the secret. We got the uh, e e. We got the flying disc. And oh god. This is going to take some getting used to with the giant face that is uh, right up in my grill, y'all. Gunjadea, you returned. You are now ready to exit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open the door. I do not like that. You don't like the giant face? <laughs> hmm. All right, you know what? I think it's about time. 
That's the splash screen for PS4. It might, it might be for the Switch as well, but it is a strange loading screen. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Let's exit the gungeon. It's not... E? E. E is enter. There you go. Hats are a thing in this game. Yeah, it's, um... I've noticed. I also read the, like, release notes. <laughs> Do a bullet run eventually? We will eventually. Does Exit the Gungeon have any story? It does. The story is, the Gungeon's crumbling. crumbling. We have to leave. Gungeon here by the power of Calibur, the great and terrible. A noble patron of this chamber and the next. Who rifles the void itself and parts the curtain. I bless your weapon. Sparkles! It should change every few seconds. Calibur bestows power to those who deserve it. The prowess you display in combat may determine the effectiveness of your weapon. Good luck. I wonder what happens if I fall off the elevator. We'll see. That is a rubber bullet can. I also have a one. Top right corner. I wonder if that one in the top... Ooh! Big iron. That's a good gun. I wonder if that... Okay, so the one is like um, It's not like a kill counter, because I'm getting kills and it's not going up. So I don't know what that is. I will say, one thing that's going to take a little while to get used to... Hey, flying disc. One thing that's going to take a little while... Oh, yeah, you're right. It, this this is the Crueler Glaive, but with a different sprite. One thing that's going to take a little while to get used to is that enemies have different amounts of health than they normally would in... Uh, enter the Gungeon. What is this? Meat Bun. Oh, hell yeah. You know, the, the enemies that you would expect to die in one shot are not dying in one shot. Oh, and this is a grenade launcher. And there's gravity, too! Yo! And the grenade launcher reloaded? Grenade launcher, like, reloaded, so it doesn't have one bullet in the clip. It's got, like, ten. Gotcha. Yo, Skull Spitter's a good gun. Yeah, it's, it's it's gonna take a little while to get used to the fact that enemies have different amounts of health here, and guns don't do the same amount of damage that they do in, in Enter the Gungeon. Otherwise, the uh, grenade launcher would have one-shot all these dicks. Also, what is happening with the... Oh, you know what? This must just be Skull Spitter. It bounces. If I had to guess. Membrane. Did I poison him? Membrane poisons? That's new. That is not an enter the gungeon thing. Yo, go down. Kind of like it, though. We get a blue chest. It is! Get your trigger finger. Rate of fire up. It's a minor increase, but an increase nonetheless. Yo, do you think there's going to be secret rooms? All guns technically have infinite ammo, so I don't know how that would actually be a thing, but hey, you never know. Yeah, the combo going up gives you a better chance at getting better guns. We could still get the pea shooter at a 10, but you're more likely to get, you know, a strafe gun. I think so. So there you go. The third Gungeon game will be called BCDD 2020T The Gungeon. <laughs> I, I am curious to see if there will be game modes. It looked like there was a... SAA. looked like there was a lot of... Um, oh, but you know what? These shots don't automatically home in on bounce, I don't think. Uh, it looked like there was going to be a lot of... Oh, you know what? They do home in on bounce. Lovely. It looked like there was going to be a lot of uh, space for NPCs and whatnot. in the breach, so if there's a lot of, lot of space for NPCs in the breach, I certainly do hope that we'll get some stuff eventually. Okay, you know what? I hate to do it. I'm gonna reduce the volume a little more. Just a little. Just a little bit. Now it's a little bit too quiet. Hold up. There you go. Hand cannon, aka revolver. I gotta, I think I gotta practice my, uh, my dodge rolls. Dodge up, dodge down, right mouse button. That'll probably become a little bit more relevant in the future. Shell. I wonder how many guns are in this game. Or items, for that matter. Who knows? Who are you? You're holding the Winchester. And you're the Buffamo. Tor de Force. I get it, because he's a Torin. Okay, don't stand there. 
What? Bubble Blaster. I love Bubble Blaster. Ah! Ah! Okay, got hit? That's fine. So he rushes you. He's, he's throwing some milk bombs. Don't get hit by the milk bomb. I'm having a hard time seeing where my cursor is. Can I change the, uh, oh, you know what? Just get out of the way of him. Having a hard time seeing my cursor. This is not normally my Gungeon cursor. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I'll take my Screecher. These bullets bounce off of the walls. Okay, you know what? Pop a blank. We killed him. I got some stuff. We got the green guanstone. Small chance of not taking damage and an orbital. Chance to heal when you take damage, effectively negating damage, I think. You can dodge roll through the boss. Um, but I messed up the dodge roll quite a bit. <laughs> let's let's just say that. I messed it up quite a bit. Okay, Bellow Shop. Looks different. He's still got his cat. There's also this. It's got a it's got a tarp over it. I guess we're gonna unlock that at some point in the future. Welcome, I'm Bellow, and this is my shop and institution of the Gungeon. Take advantage of my reasonably priced wares and gain an edge as you try to exit the Gungeon. I've got locations in every chamber, so I'm with you whenever you need me. Use a new shop, keep machines to purchase guns and items. There's also a rat down here. I'm going to go to the rat. What is this? Hey, you. The Gungeon is falling apart. So, I know we've had some minor differences in the past, but in the Gungeon's final hour, let's work together, okay? To prove my sincerity, I have a gift for you. You see that key there? It opens something good, and it's yours. Go on, take it. No tricks. Take it. Take it. Missed. All right. Rat key, what can it open? Excellent. Continue on your journey. Uh, this guy's probably going to try to kill me and take my stuff, if I had to guess. I mean, that's just what he does. He's gone. The gungeon is collapsing. The dream is ending. My shop. <laughs> And long for this place. Me and Ocelot, my cat, will be moving on. Once the last of you Gungeoneers have left. Is that fat bullets in the shop? It is fat bullets in the shop. I will absolutely buy fat bullets. Dude, I like Bellow Stash. <laughs> I like, oh my God, things are so expensive. I was gonna wonder because we had 150 credits after the first floor. Everything's way too expensive. Can't buy this though. But having a uh, fat bullets, Give me the synergies. Uh, that actually doesn't look that that big, but who knows? Cool. So you know you can still um, prematurely fire charged guns. They just automatically fire after the uh, the charge hits. But you know what? There's an option. Game option. Uh, was it control option to auto fire charge guns? I'm gonna disable that. I'm a, I'm a I'm a pro gunjineer. I can I can shoot my own guns. We'll do that. Sweet. Rat key, what could it open? The trier is now unlocked. See Hattori in the underbreach to equip it. The villain, it's a cursor. The rookie, oh, these are hats. Why do I care about hats? We also have Diginomicon, which is your Ammonomicon. Directly related to its size with no exception. Although there is no rat key item. I don't know where the rat key item. Oh, this is a dunce cap. Well, once I figured out that it was actually the uh <laughs> the rat key doesn't show up here oh no it does oh these are all the guns in the game that's a lot of guns but where is the rat key i want to look at the rat's key i do not see the rat's key okay you know what acceptable we'll just have to deal with having this rat key i guess we're going to go down to the next floor was i going to do something i don't know where's the exit here it is yeah, Bella went digital. Eventually he'll form Amazon. He's, he's he's just cutting expenses, you know. It's his kiosk. Okay, charge shot looks pretty sweet. Oh, I can move the platform. This thing takes a long time to charge. Thank you for wind up gun. I'm gonna imagine we should probably be uh, trying to get around these. Uh, these, uh, what are they called? Mountain cubes? We should probably try to get around these mountain cubes. You know, I might actually turn back on the, uh, the auto weapons firing. 
All right, I was gonna try to see if there was like another mouse cursor. Hold up. Options, AV, V-Sync, background, dimensions, controls. Whoops, there is no, I think I broke the game. There is no um, mouse cursor settings, which is a, kind of a shame because I am finding it a little bit hard to, to see the cursor. <laughs> it is kind of uh, losing, Grand Rifle, losing track for me a little bit. I'll deal. You wanna know what I like? The freaking uh, annoying enemies, oh god. The king bullets, they don't sp spawn li little tiny bullets when you kill them. Why are you flying? I did use a blank. That's probably dumb. Oh god, okay, so when these things hit the platform, they explode. Don't let them explode. Oh lord. Hey, it's Cadence and Ox. Get us out of here! I didn't have a key, so I don't know how you expected me to open your thing. <laughs> Joe's favorite gun is wind-up gun. We'll get it again, I'm sure. Oh, finally! Thanks again, I suppose. Even with those huge arms of his, Ox still can pop these bars. Causing damage to the gungeon is not part of- Whatever, Ox! Say thank you to our hero. Thank you for releasing us from this prison. This physical prison, at least. Oh, the drama. Anyway, as I'm sure you are aware, this place is coming apart. All that past killing apparently put the whole place into a spin. We were in the process of relocating the Gungeon Acquisitions Department to the bottom. Thought we would try to help out anyone who was still stuck here. Find us in the Underbreach. Hopefully we will have set things up by then. The Underbreach. Not in the Breach. Understood. Thanks again. Yes, thank you. Thank you again. I have to wonder if maybe Ox was referring to either his um, servitude of Cadence or his prison of his, like, being, like, because he's in a machine. I don't know. One or the other. Did the rat key unlock it? I don't know. I don't I don't think so, because, like... But, but I didn't I didn't pick up a key up till this later up until this point But I don't I don't know why it would have opened it because it wasn't like a rat lock I don't see it being a rat lock like I thought the rat key would be like you're gonna you're gonna have a uh, a Special uh, rat Door that gets to a rat secret area or something instead the rats like here. I have this have this key. And I'm like all right Agent Bell so active items are just passive things that kind of float around. That's pretty cool. It's also still worth it to tap shoot. Uh-oh. He's gonna explode. Oh, he exploded! Oh my god, I did it again. Alright, so I'm gonna have to jump through these guys. Just like that. I, I gotta, I gotta learn that jump is actually a, uh, a valid way of dodging. You know, it's not just, it's not just dodge roll. Did that guy get red? I ran directly into that. It's the clog. I'm taking a lot of damage. Hey, look, it's a new game. Okay, don't let these frickin' mountain cubes hit my elevator. And the money comes to you when the floor ends, which is great. We're falling. I'm moving. We landed. Who are you? Gongamesh, a king. His face looks horrifying! I get the Luxon cannon, though. I'm gonna go this way. Looks like when you take damage, it's like a little mini blank. How the hell am I gonna actually uh, handle that? Okay, those shots bounce off the walls. Except, whoops, things are happening. Oh god! Mailbox. God damn it. There's armor. I need the armor. Thank you. Okay, how that? You know, I'm just gonna blank that attack. I do not like that attack. That seems very difficult. D pad. Okay, 
Yeah, you, you wanna you wanna stay in the air for a long time. That's what you wanna do. He killed me. I tried to move. I gotta click on myself. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good run. Let's go back to the breach. We'll have to we'll have to figure out how to, his patterns and everything. It's all new patterns and bosses. It's gonna take a little while to figure out what's going on and how to solve the problems. Okay. That guy is freaking tough. But as soon as I learn how to do the dodge roll properly, we'll be good. You gotta you gotta make sure you you dodge before you hit the ground. You do do another dodge roll. You get a lot of invincibility because you're invincible while you're in the air. So you can get a lot of invincibility from that. That's going to take a while. Hey, Tinkerer. Hey there, pilot. You remember me? I do. I'm Taylor the Tinkerer. I make the elevators. This place isn't going to last long. To save time getting out of here, I've constructed a network of elevators, elevators to help you exit the dungeon as fast as possible. Shortcuts. I've designated a route out to the dungeon specifically tailored, tailored to each Gungeoneer. That means each Gungeoneer is going to take a different route with different elevators along the way. There may be some overlap. Specifically, the first elevator is the same for all of you, but most of the rest will be different. Okay. So the pilot has a different set of elevators. Interesting. It's tough to think about. All this, all this work, soon won't exist. Was it worth it? I can't say. Hey. I was wondering if we could chat some. Hey? Are you enjoying exiting the Gungeon? No, it sucks. Ah, oh, damn. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe I'll just roll over and die then. No, you don't deserve the sweet release of death. Yeah, do that. Oh my god. You're right, somehow. I'll keep doing my thing then. Have fun with the suck. <laughs> hey, I was wondering if we could chat some. Hey, are you enjoying? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ah, oh, that's great. That's awesome. I'm really glad. You're super great. Okay. Um, let's go talk to this guy. Mr. Drunk. Well, here we are. Let me guess. You tried to change your past and jeopardize the future. A tale old as time. Travel. Eh. 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 Dot, dot, dot. Dot. Okay, we'll get more stuff from him, I'm assuming. Let's also uh, change characters. Let's play as the, uh, the hunter. Man, the title cards look really weird. Um, we have Ox and Cadence to go visit as well. Let's visit them. It's you. Well, we're out of the cell. No thanks to Ox. But what do you expect from a robot built by, by a blacksmith? That's a totally different trade. My creator forged an allo alloy of souls and bone. Whatever, Ox. Uh, hmm. Anyway, welcome to the newly relocated Gungeon Acquisitions Department. Here, my robot assistant and I place order orders on our customers' behalf for guns and items from around the galaxy. In exchange for hegemony credits, we put them in a special chute and shoop. They go somewhere in the Gungeon, free for any Gungeoneer to find and utilize. Really, you're making a donation to the curve to the curation of the Gungeon stock and the longevity of your fellow Gungeoneers. Each purchase, a philanthropic endeavor. Anyway, let's use a shopkeep kiosk to place an order. Hammer, beehive, and heart lunchbox. Dude, beehive is a good gun. Go buy that one immediately. And then what is over here? More stuff. RPG bouncing bullets and cold 45. All right, well, we'll get more money. And we will have to, uh, to put them in there. You're correct, it doesn't make any sense because we've already bought these guns in Gungeon, but you know what? Sometimes things just don't have to make sense. Sometimes things just, uh, just have to do their thing. Faithful companion. Okay. I guess we don't start with any gun because our gun changes, but we get the dog and this weird face. Hi, face. Unlock the health first? Nah, 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 nah. This gun is very slow. But we'll handle it. Hopefully the sound volume is is decent. You can kill him. Magic sword, alien sidearm. Oh, magic sweet. We got a, a all stats up. I don't know what's going on with this gun. Oh god. Nail gun. It's actually a good nail gun. I love it. 
Oh, you know what? That was the uh, the stat upgrade we had. It was temporary, and it gave us a higher rate of fire. And it was a good rate of fire, too. I kind of want to roll into this guy and kill him. There you go. I wonder if you can roll into the tiny bullets as well. If I stand directly under you, is that safe? It looks like it is. Pet the dog? Why is the dog flying? I can't pet the dog. The dog is flying. Dog retrieves casings? I don't see how that's relevant, though, because they all come to you when the, the floor ends. It's the end villain. Which is affected by gravity. <laughs> Dude, I, I love the, uh, the weird gravity effect. It's actually kind of cool. Right, right, right. You can't shoot when you're when you're jumping. That's why that's why I sometimes I'm charging a gun and it doesn't work. And I'm like, why isn't it working? <gasps> Open the chest. It was gonna blow up. We got the honeycomb. Maybe we'll also get the beehive on this run. You never know. You never know. You know what? That's an item room. I think. I am kind of curious why we don't start on bullet hell, because we kind of start on the forge. Oh well. What do I know? Brick Breaker. I just fired a blue shell. I just fired a red shell. Alright, that's pretty cool. You actually do get different shells out of the Brick Breaker. I mean, honestly, it makes sense. I would really love it if the, uh, the blue shell was, like, just a bunch of damage. Why am I putting hats on people? Why are they getting hats on? I also heard an, heard an item drop. I also got bomb. Look, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Enemies have hats on them for some reason. I've got the wind-up gun, even though I haven't taken any damage, I don't think, so uh, I'm a little sad by that. Oh, the SAA is a good gun. And all the... All the Oh, the dog's getting all the items. That must mean why I'm not seeing them, because the dog is picking them up. Understood. Medusalier. Bombshell. She's riding a bomb. Why is she riding the... Why is the Meduzi riding the Fusilier? It's actually a pretty easy attack. You see, this is an appropriate first floor boss. You know what? I, so I, I, I t I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna turn on the auto fire on charge guns because what's happening, and I'm just, I've just noticed this now. What's happening is the um, the sound isn't playing sometimes. So I, my, I have my um, oh, I'm invincible. Good time to do this. I, I'm getting my charge, but the gun isn't firing because the sound effect isn't actually getting played. So I'm just gonna go quickly to auto fire and just turn that on. Yeah, because um, w w without the uh, the sound effect being played, I can't really tell if I should shoot my gun or not. So it's probably just easiest to just leave that on. So again, you know, in this situation, I'm just going to be like, all right. I got the Helix. That's a good gun. Although... Yo, could you die? No, oh, I got it. I got hurt. We missed out on our flawless. I don't even know if that's a thing here in this game. Oh, Ugh. the dog is picking stuff up. We get coin crown. Play well, get money. Would have preferred something a little bit immediately useful. And the rat's not there this time around. Hey, rat, where'd you go? Don't steal anything. We can steal. Sounds obvious. I can't afford the white glowstone? I'm so sad. We can buy the med kit, but I don't really want an active item right now. I'm just gonna leave. Save our money. Zero out of ten, boss didn't explode. Yeah, we missed out on the flawless, cause... The freaking The wall daggers, they had a lot of HP, didn't they? That guy is stuck in the wall.
I do like that the dog is picking up items. I certainly hope the dog is, like, creating items as well. By creating items, I mean is, you know, finding them, digging them up. I don't know how he'll dig up an item here. We're, we're not on the ground, we're in an elevator. Also, can I fall off the platforms? I imagine the answer to that question is yes, I can fall off the platforms, but I don't know. Hey, blow up. Oh, God! I was in the exact right spot to not get hit by this guy. What are you? I'm scared? Oh, you're a spectral gun nut! You're not that bad. Also, this gun is firing very slowly. Am I cursed? I might be cursed. It's gun- it's dodge roll, of course you fall off. <laughs> hey, I don't know, maybe- maybe, maybe not. Let me go down. I can't- I can't fall- you can't fall down more than one space at a time. There's a little hole you can stop in. You have to uh, press down A to, to fall down multiple- multiple- multiple floor holes. Yo, Skull Spitter's a good gun. Kinda like not having to worry about ammo, but it does mean that if you kill an enemy and then only have one- one shot in your gun, you kinda might as well just spam the shots. Also, I can't shoot in the air! I keep- I keep actually thinking it's Gungeon and thinking to myself, man, I really, uh, <laughs> want to be able to move around and shoot my gun at the same time. Pet the dog. I can't- you can't pet the stupid dog, you flippin' jerks. Are synergies still a thing? I have no idea. Moonscraper, oh. This seems horrible. Is that a jammed enemy? Oh my god, it is. I don't know if he dropped any extra money, but, you know, jammed enemies usually scare me. Dude, I hate that you can't shoot your gun in the air. And, like, I know that in Gungeon you can't shoot your gun in the middle of a dodge roll, but it's just like a... It's a weird mechanical thing. I, I want to be able to shoot my gun while moving vertically, like you can in Gungeon. You know what I mean? In Gungeon, if I move vertically, it's because I'm just walking. <laughs> I, it, it's it's actually surprisingly difficult to, to think that you're on a different axis here. Oh god. Do I have like a faster rate of fire or something? Or a reload? Yo, it's a, it's an Iron Maiden. Lead Maiden? Oh, it's a ghost! It's a scary ghost. Looks more like a hamster. I was gonna say, but once people said it was a dog, makes sense. I guess we are the hunter. Oh no, it's this guy again. Just start shooting. We also have a 10 on our multiplier. Hopefully we don't get hit. Gungamesh! Okay. Oh god. I think the secret for this guy is to get off of his, uh, his angle. You know, if, if he does anything... I, I got hit, but I used the blank at the same time. I feel I feel sad by for myself. By myself. I screwed it up. Want to get off? Yeah, this guy, his secret. Okay, you know, fair enough. Get off of his angle. Oh my god. Just be better at dodging. You know what I don't like about this fight? This guy's invincible for so flippin' long. I can't hit him. You know, just get behind him. Hey, what you doing? He is poisoned somewhere. 
I got hit by that. I gotta find a better dodge for that. Like, I'm, I'm learning the patterns except for the one, but I just can't shoot him. He's just, he's invincible for so long. I almost got hit by that one. You know what? He does hurt. And I also am out of blanks. So, yeah, there we go. Dude, this guy is fucking annoying. <laughs> he he just... He's invi invisible for so long. It's such a long fight. You're doing dodging for, for way more than you would on any other fight. All right, that's, that's frustrating. That's frustrating. 